Landboards presents Testing the Mini 360 DC Switching Power Supply. This is the Mini 360 DC Power Supply. It's a tiny little supply, very, very small. Here it is compared to a United States dime, showing how small it is, even smaller than a dime. The website shows the dimensions with three, <laughs> three digits of tolerance. Kind of funny that way. Considering its size, the part has some pretty sweet little features. Probably the leading feature is the price. We purchased them on eBay, 10 of them for $4 and 30 some odd cents, so less than 50 cents a piece. Here's the specs for the part. First, we'll take a look at the load regulation. The percentage load regulation is the change in the voltage over the range of loads expressed as a percent. The spec for the part listed ratings up to 1.8 amps, but we're interested in particular at operation at 1 amp. Here's the test setup we're going to use for this test. We're using a DC power supply in the upper left corner. The unit under test is in the bottom left. And to the sort of right-ish side of that is the DC load. Uh, the DC load is described in another video. We've also got the voltmeter sitting and watching the load at the load voltage at the DC load. Uh, we had to swap out the cables and we've got another cable video on cable upgrades to be the better 18 gauge uh, multi-strand cables to be able to perform this test. At the beginning of this test, the DC load was set for one amp. By pressing the button, we reset the DC load to zero. Next, we're gonna increase the current from the zero value or about 60 milliamps up to one amp and observe the change on the DC voltmeter and see what the effect of the load is. We can see the load go from 5.09 volts at no load to 5.06 when the load is fully engaged at one amp. We could, as we noted, go above this to the 1.8 to fully characterize it, but let's take a look at what these particular numbers mean. So that's a change of 0.03 volts, 100% times the 0.03 volts divided by the 5 volt nominal is 0.6%, and the spec was 0.5%, so surprisingly good, and some of that might be cabling. Here we re-ran the test, starting at 1.8 amps, you can see when we reset it that the voltage goes from 5.04 to 5.09. So again, exhibiting the good load regulation that the other tests demonstrated. For the rest of this test, we ran from the no load up to a 2 amp load. Maybe not quite that, although the meter did show 2 amps, the input was showing 0.9 amps. But the device performed well. The regulation at the output was 5.04 volts. Let's take a look at the line regulation. Although there wasn't a spec on that, we should still be able to figure out what the parts values are. For this test, we take the um, input voltage of the device from uh, from a little bit around a volt and a half higher than the output voltage, so about six and a half volts. And note the output's 5.06 volts at that fully loaded condition, and then we take it up to 10, 11, 12. Uh, the part's rated at a higher voltage than this, but stopping around. Uh, let's see where we stop around 15 here I think shows a good result not much change well how hot did the device get well we could stick our finger on it and yes it was warm but we were able to hold our finger on it without getting burned and it hadn't been running very long it was warm if we wanted to measure the efficiency, we'd have to use something more precise and accurate than the digital panel meters we're using. They're not very accurate and they only do tenth of a volt step in spite of the fact they don't have three digits. But you can see from the setup here that the efficiency looks pretty decent. We're getting out five volts and one amp for 10 volts and a half amp we're putting in. Of course, it's not 100% efficient, so the uh, equipment measurement is not accurate enough. So in conclusion, this Mini 360 looks like a decent device for the task. The price is definitely right. It's probably cheaper than buying a regular voltage regulator. It might work well as a post-regulation stage on a cheap wall wart, maybe by like a 12 
volt one amp wall wart that doesn't put out anywhere near that but use one of these parts on the output to make five volts out of it probably would work pretty well for that and it's small enough to fit into a wall wart if you want more information you can see our wiki pages for these products and we have youtube videos on them as well we have a store in tindy where we sell all of our cards thanks for watching our video and if you enjoyed it don't forget to like share and subscribe